Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and give you guys kind of an updated um, info on the Judgment character that I'm playing. Uh, if you guys watched the previous video, you'll notice that I was talking about using Judgment and kind of making it follow you as like a pseudo righteous fire build. And now I've done a little bit more testing. The servers are currently down, but I'm playing in offline mode. So I'm pretty much here to just show you guys that the build definitely works and is actually really strong it's actually getting a little bit nerfed in the patch but just the damage and the damage is honestly cracked so i'm gonna go in and show you guys what it's like we're gonna run a map then i'm gonna show you an example of the rotation on a target dummy and then we're gonna talk about the character overall remember this is not currently using any unique items this is just like bare bones stuff you can start playing this build a few hours into the campaign i personally leveled with warpath you can quite literally level with whatever you want you're pretty much leveling up until you get judgment judgment being um if you look right over here in the paladin tree it's about right here so it's pretty much literally like whatever you want so i we do have one right here it's like a plus one sentinel one it's not even really that big of a deal because i have uh, an affix here for plus one of uh well i guess i don't have a judgment one but it's not super big deal anyway let's go ahead and jump in so i'm gonna just pick a random map here and just run through and explain how the build works Okay. Well, actually, we procced. Oh no, this is the laggy one, right? Oh, we can't. We can't do this one. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, take two. Take two. Take two. Uh, there's currently a bug with that arena. We're not. We're not touching that arena. It's very laggy for some reason. So we're just gonna go pick another random location instead. Uh, I don't know what's up with that arena. We're just gonna pick something else. Uh, don't worry. Gonna be fixed in 1.0, boys. Not a problem. Fixed in 1.0. Okay. Game is technically still in early access from the time of this video you can see the beta 0.9.2 r up there okay so all right let's just pick another random location here um yeah let's let's go right over here right i'll just click over here and make sure i'm not clicking the same thing again okay okay so as of now the judgment is actually following us so if i click it you'll notice it is rotating around me now it only lasts at the moment like four Maybe, maybe like five seconds. Uh, we are going to increase its duration as we go on, but this is just what I have right now. Okay, so the basic gameplay of this build is Judgment into Volatile Reversal into throwing Javelins. So you use Judgment, and then you immediately use Volatile Reversal to get all of your MP back. I have Lunge currently spec'd so that I have multiple Lunges. The purpose of the multiple lunges is that when I go back in time like this, I can just charge back forward, and then the gameplay doesn't really feel like it's broken, right? Like, it feels like it's very consistent. Now, to sync up the Volatile Reversal and the Judgment uh, timing, I am currently using Opal Rings for CDR. Um, you can also get cooldown recovery as a stat, and we'll also be increasing the duration of Judgment so it doesn't feel as bad. And we'll talk about this a little bit more. Now, the purpose of throwing the Javelin is the Javelin does a Holy Fire Trail, the Holy Fire does maybe like 20% of the damage of my skill. It's actually more than enough to kill most basic mobs, but it also massively increases the damage of your next Judgment. Um, so this is something we kind of throw. It's it's really good actually for like mobs in a corridor. Uh, so that's something we get to add in. Now, Holy Aura is something that you press before the combo when you need big damage. So instead of doing basically uh, judgment into Volatile Reversal, you would also press Holy Fire first. So it would look like this. Holy Fire, Judgment, Volatile Reversal. Now, this might seem complicated. You don't need to do all of this stuff for clearing. For literal basic clearing, you're just literally throwing a Javelin and pressing, like, your, uh, your Volatile Reversal and your Holy Fire. Okay, so here's a little boss guy. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this, this, this. And that's the guy. He's now currently dead. So we're going to just go ahead and leave. And I'm going to explain now on a training dummy to make it explain, like to show what each button is basically doing. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and click. Is it is it divine area you guys said, right? Divine area, champion's gate, and click. Okay. So what's getting nerfed with the build is the mana stacking, but I haven't really stacked that much mana. This is kind of just like whatever we have currently. So this is the regular training dummy, and then there's a boss training dummy. I'll set the regular training dummy to show. So the node that's getting nerfed is actually this here, Pious Offering. Still going to be totally fine. Going to be great, not a problem. So when I just Judgment here, we're seeing about 22,000 damage number ticks. Now from the 22,000 damage number ticks, 
we're going to go ahead and amplify that. So now I'm going to press Holy Aura and then Judgment, and you will see the damage goes up from 22k. So just give me one second and take a look. Oh, I, oh sorry, I pressed the wrong button and um, uh, error 70k. Let me let me let me fix that. Okay, we're gonna don't worry about that button. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna press this one and then this one. So now we have 24.5k. So the Holy Aura button is actually not too much because the thing is it costs MP to use Holy Aura. So you're actually not gaining a tremendous amount. The more MP we get, the more use we'll get. So Holy Aura is like really only for a boss. So you don't have to worry about it. Now it comes to the next one. Here's the difference on just throwing a Javelin. So remember 22K. If I throw a Javelin, the Javelin's doing 7K ticks. And if I right click the whole, it's now doing 36K. So that is, you can see just throwing a Javelin is way superior to Holy Aura. You don't have to worry here because the Javelin throw costs almost no MP and has way lower cooldown. So it will always be in sync with your judgment. Now for the full combo, you press volatile reversal. Not only does volatile reversal actually give you back your MP, but these nodes time rift, which makes monsters take increased damage over time. And this one, same thing. It's kind of like path of exile. These are actually multipliers. They don't go into the same, uh, let's in D4 terms bucket as your additive damage scaling, like spell damage. This is making monsters take increased damage. So we take our original 22 K and we turn it into the following. That is now 110 K per tick. And that is directly because of the synergy of the volatile reversal along with everything else. So let's talk about it. Looking at my skill tree here, I'm going to explain why I have each thing. And before a lot of people like to break things down in min max, I've played this character for about 10 hours in total now. I have not done any prior research, so there will still be a lot to discover, but this is what's fun about jumping in blind into a game is you get to learn all of this stuff. So Javelin, uh, Javelin's primary purpose is we are pathing up here and we are going to grab Holy Trail. This gives it some actual form of damage, which is pretty nice. I've also opted to scale the damage on the Holy Trail with Pilgrimage and Spear to the Thigh. I don't know. Okay, I didn't even know it was called that. Uh, but before I take these nodes, I personally would come down here and grab Sacred Forge. Sacred Forge is nice because it's what gives the big multiplier on your judgment. Other than that, it's kind of up to you. I'm now filling out Spear to the Thigh. Different from an arrow to the knee, by the way. Shoot me. All right, so now we have Volatile Reversal. So Volatile Reversal, basically taking cooldown recovery, cooldown recovery. We don't have to worry about it healing health because Judgment actually heals us so much HP. I haven't even gotten into that part yet. We'll get into that part later if I don't forget. So basically full cooldown recovery and on top of cooldown recovery, we're also taking the damage nodes I talked about. So Time Rift and Harbinger of Dust. I'm also grabbing this here, Time Sap, because as you're clearing and killing monsters, the uptime will go up so that you can perfectly sync your uh, Volatile and your Judgment for a very nice, clean gameplay. Okay, next up is Holy Aura. Pretty generic. This is basically a passive unless you're activating it. So I'm taking anything that makes me more tanky right now. I actually haven't even looked at a whole bunch of this stuff yet. So we've got uh, Raya's Fury, which is Fire Pen, which does work for dots. We've got Global Fire Damage 50%. Uh, down here, I've got some LE res and endurance to help with gearing. And up at the top, we have increased healing effectiveness, which we'll go into shortly. Okay, uh, let me look at Javelin here. So Javelin at the moment, I pretty much just have, uh, you get haste, not Javelin, sorry, um, lunge. You get haste after doing a charge. Um, we have multiple charges so that it feels good. And we're never in a scenario where we use Volatile Reversal and we jump back and we can't go forward. Having an extra charge on lunge means I can always reposition back to where I was, which is what makes it smooth for me. Coming down over here, I actually grabbed Culling Strike, so we can cull from 15%. And then over here, I have Frailty. Frailty makes it so that monsters deal less damage. The reason this is good is when you're initiating on a boss fight, you're probably going to lunge into their face, which will then apply the Frailty so it syncs up very cleanly. Last up, we got Judgment, so let's talk about it. Now there's a little bit of, uh, I'm still trying to figure out the best way to kind of jump around the tree, but I'm gonna explain my decision here. So um, if you want the the judgment to linger around you, you wanna go ahead and grab anointed. But I didn't level with anointed because it didn't feel very good. So the first thing I did actually is I came over and grabbed pious offering one point and I grabbed uh, urgent inquisition, which gives it no cooldown. And I was kind of just judgment tapping as I was going through the campaign. 
I'm not sure if that's how I'm going to level with it again, but that's just kind of what I did. Now, I currently have three points in Pious Offering. I recommend you only put one point in this at the beginning, or not, not even any points, and just see if your Judgment does enough damage. A key thing to understand is when you have Anointed and you have the Aura surrounding you, so for example, like this, Judgment Aura no longer stacks. You can only have one application of it around yourself. If you do not have Anointed, you can actually keep on Judgmenting and you'll actually have stacking Judgment Area of Effect. The only annoying thing is there's a lot of bosses in like Rogue Exiles who are dashing around all the different locations. So this is why I favored to go with the one big Judgment Dump with Anointed. So for leveling, I was kind of just tapping the Judgment. And now that I'm in the higher section um, and we're triggering with Volatile Reversal, I much prefer this. Now, instead of going all into Pious Offering, I decided to come down here. Now, this is Destructive Impact, which gives you bonus AoE, which makes it feel good. Then you have this node, which literally doesn't do anything, but unlocks Flaming Soul. Flaming Soul gives you a direct multiplier to Consecrated Ground. What I'm curious about, though, is if this has big diminishing returns with Pious Offering, because both of them are multipliers, and even multipliers have diminishing returns after you go too far, right? So what I want to try to do is actually drop these four points, put them back in the Pious Offering, and then go into Lingering Forces to get extra skill effect duration to make it cleaner. And then when I get additional skill points via uh, plus levels of Judgment, things like that, I might come back down into Flaming Soul, but this is what I want to do right now. For some clarification, this is the node that gets nerfed. It goes, it, it goes down to about like 1.5% damage per mana instead of two, still going to be totally fine. So now that the skills have pretty much been explained, um, let's go ahead and talk about my gear. So on my gear, um, there are a couple of stats that are really important. Mana, mana regeneration feels good. You don't need as much mana regen later. Mana regen is kind of just for like the early game to make it feel good so you can just tap it a lot. Later on, it's not as important. Attunement is a top tier stat. Uh, and then of course, your damage over time modifiers. So to showcase my weapon, this actually just dropped as 288% LE damage over time. We crafted fire damage, we're good to go. Scepters are actually better than wands, but you really just care about what has good stats at the beginning. Don't worry about min-maxing during like the early stages, right? You just want something that's useful for you. So very good for me, right? Loads of increases on this. On my helmet, you'll notice I have flat mana with attunement. So very, very solid. Um, again, we'll go into the attunement in a minute. First, we're going to just talk about the damage affixes. As for your suffixes, most people are just going to stack health for a little bit. I'm not going to go into like very big you know, breakdown on defensive layers. We'll talk about that stuff later. Amulet, I currently have damage over time and healing effectiveness. Healing effectiveness is a top tier stat with this build. On my shield, I've got healing effectiveness. On my body armor, I've got attunement and vitality with increased health and health. It doesn't have to be vitality. I would prefer mana here, but this is what it is, right? Over here, I've got the dual opal rings, which I really like. Uh, this just has damage effectiveness and damage over time. Over here, we've got a fire damage. I actually don't think fire damage is good on this ring. I think attunement is straight up better, um, but I haven't like actually, you know, broken anything down or, you know, POB'd anything, as we would like to say. On the belt, I've just got same thing, just generic damage stats with health. Uh, over here, uh, I don't even want to talk about these gloves. They're really bad. They just have MP. Over here, I crafted a sick pair of boots, actually. Had some, some dropped attunement boots uh, with movement speed. And then this codex we have just has plus one sentinel skills. It's okay, but in reality, a codex here or relic slot with, say, for example, is it this one? This base, if you look, has 58% fire damage and 57% healing effectiveness. That is crazy. On top of that, you can get plus the level of judgment on something like this. Insane. Uh, my idols, I don't really have much here at the moment. I would just like to stack healing effectiveness, but there's not really anything else I have here, right? Okay, so now let's go back to Judgment and explain Attunement. So if you hold Alt here right now, right? Holding Alt, you can see the breakdown of the skill. What's important to understand about this is it's a melee skill, but the aura does not scale off of melee damage. So you don't want to actually scale melee damage. And here is why Attunement is insane. Attunement gives us, um, if you look at the bottom, Attunement scaling, 4% damage per point of Attunement. However you also get 4% healing effectiveness. 4% healing effectiveness, if you look up at the top, it says grants one spell damage 
per 5% increase healing effectiveness. So attunement gives you 2 MP, which you can see on the character sheet, increased damage for judgment, healing effectiveness, and every 5% healing effectiveness also gives you 1 spell damage. Not to mention, judgment is also a heal over time aura. So when I pop my judgment here, we're regenerating like legit 500 HP a second on, onto our HP pool here, which is very crazy. So if you look over here, when I pop into my other stats, I'm currently rocking 369% healing effectiveness. Very comfy build to play. I'm really enjoying it. So that's pretty much the rundown. I'll talk about my passives here. Nothing is like set in stone. Uh, at the moment, pretty much have like Juggernaut, Fearless, one point to Stalwart for block chance. Over here, I've got Armor Clad for reduced damage taken from enemies uh, and Valiant Charge to get increased cooldown recovery on lunge. Over here, I've got five points into Void Knight, so I've got Abyssal Endurance. This is so that we can get Volatile Reversal. Over here, uh, I've got Conviction. Conviction gives decent increases in pen. I don't actually know how good that is, but it's just what I have right now. Over here, we've got Attunement because it's a top tier stat. I've got one point in Honor for block chance so that I'm able to get Heaven Fire, which gives us spell damage with a shield. Do note that Judgment also has over 200% damage effectiveness. So scaling damage over time on... Actually, can I see the damage effectiveness on it? I don't know where I saw it. I think... Oh yeah, all the way down at the bottom. Added spell damage applies to Consecrated Ground at 225% effectiveness. So very, very solid. Over here, I've got Holy Icon, which is giving me healing effectiveness, HP, and Necrotic Res, right? Up here, we've got um, Armor with a Shield and Spell Damage into Block Chance, but cannot dodge. Over here, Attunement and Mana Regen. And then over here, I'm going to go into Reverence of Duality. And I believe, as someone said in my chat, I want to put one point in Steel Aegis here for the 2% Block Chance. I favored a shield because there's really good nodes. And in general, I want to be more tanky. The damage is already pretty crazy. So that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I'll try to give you guys a, um, like a, like a LE tools builder, I think, once the sites come back up. And then I can sticky that for you guys so you can follow along. And then once I get a more refined loot filter, I will also link my loot filter for you guys so you can follow along as well. I'll be playing this build tomorrow live on stream. We'll be starting over from fresh. So you can see me go through the campaign and scale to where I'm at now. There's a little bonus. It's going to be a very long live stream. So hope to see you guys there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can always catch me streaming live every day, but Sundays, except specialty for this weekend, we'll be streaming Sundays at twitch.tv slash box. See all you RF boys in Last Epoch.